members of the Knesset's Health and Welfare Committee were shocked into silence when an 83-year-old Holocaust survivor who lost patience with the proceedings blasted the government for wasting time on endless debates while abandoning survivors to die in poverty. That woman is Tivon resident Dora Roth, who has become a national hero since her outburst at the Knesset. I got to sit down with her at her home to talk about what made her so angry. I think it's an honor because you have really made something recently here in Israel that I, I believe and I think all of Israel believes is going to make a difference. When I spoke in the Knesset, although I attacked the leaders, I spoke from triumph because I don't need them. I was the, the mouth that talks. I took upon myself to say what I think was uh, the mistake which was done for the Holocaust survivors. One should really give them whatever they need. Whatever they need. I know in, when I came here in 1952 that money came from Germany for Holocaust survivors. And not just a few but a lot of money. So let's say that the government of Israel needed the money for building the country. But 65 years went by. In the meantime, the Holocaust survivors became old. And when you become old, you need more doctors, you need more medicine, you need everything more. Why not to give them? They used our money, and that's what I said in the Knesset. It's my money. And somehow it seems to me that those little few words made something that everybody in Israel heard. Children called me up and said that they are ashamed that people from the Holocaust don't have it, that we neglected them children of 15 and 16. I'm proud that we have children like that. I am proud of it. You had your 15 minutes of fame, your two or three minutes on television that changed the life of so many people here in Israel. I'm not a hero. I really am not. It's just that I thought it is the first time that I have the opportunity to tell in a place where all the the right people sit. And then you came home and got a call from the Prime Minister of Israel. I was a little shocked when he called me. I said, what can I help you, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't. He wanted to talk to me. So he talked. But uh, this is absolutely unimportant. This is unimportant. What should be important, if there are 240,000 Holocaust survivors, Today, one should change the law. Today, and not another committee. What happens, happens in the committee, we all know. Talk and talk and talk and talk, and after a while, it's forgotten. And Dora Roth is going to be forgotten in no time. I, I can sign on it. Your life is actually a triumph story. Uh, the past is very sad, but the present is very happy. I came to Israel and I was sent to Mabara. If somebody doesn't know what is Mabara, it's a tent in January. Not very good for a, for a, a child that went through a tuberculosis, but this is how it was. And then I went to work and met my husband who was a doctor, that probably at the minute that he saw me, he fell in love. The second, because he didn't, he didn't, he just wanted to talk to me. And we married, and it was a very happy marriage, 26 years. He, he died when he was 54 years old. Uh, but um, I have nothing to complain. I have two very nice children and five grandchildren. 
I have a grandchild, uh, Tom, and uh, there was this war, the last war, and he called me up. I said, you know, Tom, you don't have to be on the first line. Me in the back. And the answer was, but Grandma, I want to. If you, if you analyze what he said, this is what I live for. I live for that I have, I have brought up children and grandchildren that have the love for their country. I don't know if you went out to do it when you went to the Knesset, but you really made a difference. How does it make you feel? Good. Makes me feel very good. I don't know if I helped to was uh, financially, but to understand the Holocaust. And I don't think that not my children, and not you, and not you, and not anybody can comprehend what does it mean six years to be hungry. I do hope that there will be a change. But you know, the human beings, uh, it seems to me that in another few days they will not even know my name and not even connected with the, with the Knesset, with the parliament. And soon it becomes again the same thing. And I am too old to fight it. Too old. Dorot, thank you very much for having us here, inviting us into your house, and thank you for your warm words. It was a pleasure. Thank you thank for you. coming. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> All we can hope now is that Dora Roth's remarks fell on fertile ears and she really made a difference for those remaining frail Holocaust survivors to whom she served as a mouthpiece. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson in Tivon.